Welcome back for another Book Talk video. It is Suspense Saturday, and that means I'm talking about some sort of mystery, crime, horror, or thriller book. Today, it's the paperback book, Murder by the Book, by Lauren Elliott. This book came out in... 2018. I gave it three out of five stars. I did enjoy reading the book. Three stars means that I recommend the book. You can tell by the cover that it's one of those cozy mystery stories set in a small town. It has a sleuth who is a private citizen, not a law enforcement officer or anything like that. She is a bookstore owner. And you might not realize this, but there's actually this whole subgenre of books, you know, with characters who are people who either own a bookstore or work in a bookstore, and oftentimes they get involved in some sort of a mystery. You know, I can think about the literary fiction novel with A.J. Fickrey, and of course the fun story of Good Omens. There are all kinds of stories with bookstore owners in them. They're fun to read. As far as I can tell, Lauren Elliott has just published this series, but I want to say it looks like an impressive rate of writing and publishing. When you look at the series, this is book one in the series, and it's the only one that I read, but it came out in 2018. Then book two came out in 2019, Prologue to Murder. Book three, also in 2019, Murder in the First Edition. Book four and book five came out in 2020, Proof of Murder and a Page Marked for Murder. And then book six and seven are scheduled to come out in 2021, Under the Cover of Murder and to the Tome of murder. So I'm impressed Lauren Elliott is writing these books in what may be a Fast and Furious style, trying to get them out. But there's a good chance that I will read them, that I will continue reading this series. Even though I gave it three out of five stars, and you might think, well, if it's not a four or five star read, why are you bothering to continue with the series? And that's because sometimes all that you need for one of these paperback cozy murder mystery books to be, really, is a three out of five stars. You know, it's just something that you read for entertainment, for enjoyment. You're not reading it because you're trying to read, you know, the best literary fiction novel of the year or something like that. But it's fun to see how these sleuths, these citizens who end up in these strange murder situations and investigating crimes end up doing. It's fun to see how they figure out the clues and put everything together. As for this book, I know that I tend to complain that a lot of books start too slowly and they take, you know, 60, 80 to 100 pages to really get into the action because they're building up the setting and providing all that information, letting you get to know the characters slowly. But I'm going to feel a little hypocritical here because I'm going to say that this book starts out really fast. It almost felt rushed that the action was happening right there from the very beginning. Kind of wanted it to slow down a little. But I understand why that that was it's as a murder mystery story it's to kind of throw you off as a reader so that you're not sure who to trust and what's really going on so i understand the technique and why it's done in fact probably when i go to publish my first book the beginning will feel rushed because i'm gonna want to get right into the action similarly to how this story does it the main character's name is Addie, and she has inherited everything that she needs so that she can have her dream of owning and running a bookstore, which includes a bunch of books that her family had that were first editions and rare copies of books, valuable books, and so she has those for sale in her bookstore along with all of the new books and that sort of thing. It's fun how she makes friends with the other people who own the shops around her, though there's a character who's just this mean woman who has a shop there by her who serves as somewhat of an antagonist in the shopping center. It becomes rather personal very quickly as everything starts to unfold. The action begins with something as simple as a copy of The Wizard of Oz being stolen, and it doesn't really seem important. What seemed very strange to me was that the character had some bad experiences in her past. At the beginning, you are told that there's an unsolved murder 
of her fiance and that her father died in a fatal car accident. So I was a suspicious reader thinking, you know, this is a weird character. Maybe she's up to something, but you don't have to worry about her being an unreliable narrator and her secretly turning out to be the killer. It's not that kind of novel. If you do enjoy cozy murder mysteries, something to just read over a weekend, something like that, then I recommend the book to you. Hope you enjoyed the book talk today. Every day is a good day for a book talk. Peace.